As always, this is for educational purposes only. In a previous video, I had set up a session of Air Mon NG, where my laptop acts as a monitor and sniffs the air for wireless packets. So we are going to do this again, by putting the WLAN 0 interface into monitor mode. Using sudo airmon ng start wlan0 will achieve this. Now, to begin sniffing the air for packets, we type sudo airo dump ng for this, using the wlan0 mon interface. This is simply to check that the air crack suite is functioning correctly. Which it is. For the next part of this video, I am going to carry out a more focused airo dump session. It will involve only targeting my wireless LAN and on a specific channel. The command for this is sudo air o dump ngw LAN 0 mon, followed by the minus minus bssid parameter and my ssid. Lastly, we want the specific channel, so we use minus c and the channel number. As we want to create a pcap file for Wireshark analysis, we use the minus w parameter and then name the file. Press enter and run the capture. In a laptop off-screen, I am visiting sites such as google.com, my site which is GFL Solutions. I am also running a ping to Google's DNS address, all to generate data for the packet capture. I allow this session to run for a little while to create enough data and then save the capture by exiting out of Aero Dump NG. Aero Dump save files automatically in your home directory, in this case my Kali folder. Five files are saved including two CSV files, an XML file and the most important, a .pcap file. To test it worked, I open it automatically on my Kali Linux machine. I ported the .pcap file over to another laptop and can open with Wireshark there. I will be creating another video specific to Wireshark. For now, I will show some simple ways of filtering the huge number of packets that can be created, even in a short session. The different types of packets are color-coded, so as you can see at the top, there are some ICMP packets, which were created when I carried out a ping to Google's DNS server. It was an extended ping, so there are a lot of echo responses between my laptop and Google's DNS server. The next filter I use is for the IP address of my laptop. You can use the IP.address filter to achieve this, followed by the IP address you wish to filter by. There is a lot of traffic for this device as it was the one I was targeting, so you can see there are many requests, TCP and DNS and more. If we then filter by DNS, we will see all of the websites visited by this device. DNS stands for Domain Name System and converts host names to IP addresses. Very useful in ethical hacking to know what sites people are visiting. If we want to only target specific keywords, we can use the TCP contains filter. Here, I have filtered on GFL, which is part of my website. I do the same for Google as well and you can also see packets for this. I didn't view any YouTube videos during this session, so it draws a blank. One useful protocol is ARP, which is the layer 3 conversation between devices and the default gateway, in the case the wireless router. The router will try and find all of the devices and maintain an ARP cache of all connected devices. If I want to find a device via its layer 2 address or MAC address, we use the f.address filter and I can see all of the traffic from a specific device. The last of the searches will be for the TCP port numbers, very useful when looking at specific streams of traffic. TCP port 4403 is for HTTPS traffic, so it is secure. By searching on port 80, I am making sure there is no unsecured traffic. Thanks for joining us today for this easy to follow video on packet capturing with the air crack suite. Like, share and subscribe and we will see you soon for more.